Today I'm going to show you how to make a hunter cake. Hi, I'm Amanda Vander Gulick from CleverDoughCakes.com and today I'm going to share with you how I made this really cute hunter cake for my dad's 65th birthday. To begin with, I created marshmallow fondant. If you'd like to get the recipe, simply click the button above. It will open in a separate window for you so you can take a look at that after. It is the yummiest fondant you will ever make and it's the most economic too. Trust me, buying fondant is very expensive. So what I did is I created the figure that I wanted to sit in the tree stand on top of the cake. And I wanted to do this in advance so that it would have time to dry. I started by sculpting my father's face with his cute beard and his messy hair from sitting in the wind. And then I created his body out of chocolate fondant so that I could have a nice dark base for his hunting suit. I happened to find these really cool sprinkles that are leaf shape and they're all in the fall colors. So reds and yellows, oranges and browns. And I used piping gel to stick them onto his outfit to create a camouflaged look. I used food coloring to color in my dad's features and his skin tone and his hair. And then I used the leftover fondant that I had to create his bow and arrow. Then I set him aside and let him dry while I created the cake. The cake that I used is my delicious sponge cake recipe. It's a family secret and I've posted a link for you above. It will open in a new tab as well so that you can watch it afterwards. I created an eight inch round cake and I split it in four and layered it with mocha icing. I've got a link to the mocha icing above for you as well. And again, it will open in a separate tab. So feel free to click on that now so that you can watch that afterwards. To decorate the cake, my father actually has this really cool candle holder and it looks like a forest and it's got deer in it. And what I did is I cleaned that very thoroughly, created the chocolate fondant and then rolled that nice and smooth and then rolled the candle holder over it to create an impression. Then I took an X-Acto knife to cut out the pattern. I let that dry for a bit so that it would get nice and strong while I covered the cake in the mocha icing and rounded out the top onto the top of the cake so that the tree trunks came up the side and the branches curled over the top. After that, it was time to make the tree stand. I created the base of the tree stand out of more cake with fondant filling to hold it together. But then I used graham crackers to create the wooden boarding to go along the sides of the tree stand. I wanted it to look like wood. So using a knife, I traced out a wood pattern and then I painted it with food coloring to bring out the details. Then I placed the tree stand on top of the cake and placed my father's figure in the tree stand so that he could sit on top of his cake and overlook the forest. I sprinkled some more of the leaves over the top of the trees and then I placed rocks along the bottom of the plate and a little pond with some fish. My father is also an avid fisherman. Placed a little champagne candle that I had found and a few other cool candles that I found in the shape of woodworking tools since my father is a carpenter. He absolutely loved his cake. It was such a pleasure to make and I've made many hunting cakes for him. If you check out my channel, you'll see more hunting cakes and for more fun cake decorating ideas, remember to visit cleverdoughcakes.com and to watch more of these videos, of course, as well. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when the next cake video comes out. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with your friends. I appreciate that. I want to inspire as many cake decorators as possible. Thank you so much. Oh, and I have a special gift for you. Go to cleverdoughcakes.com and click on the free gift tab. I've got a special gift waiting there just for you. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon.